You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a goose Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Hi ninjas, how are you doing? It's your girl Oh Aminit Majoru and welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time joining me, it's definitely welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. Now my ninjas, you guys know there's an episode or rather a three part that actually came out last week if not last of last week and we are actually here with someone that also contacted me and said hey oh, Ami, i would like to also come and share my side of the story so the person that is with me in the studio is mr ezekiel joseph yes that's correct <laughs> welcome <laughs> at least you pronounced it well ne? yeah i was just saying that your your study is weird because it's like a name. No one has ever said um, your surname Joseph. is like a name. Yeah. Joseph. Because what is no, Joseph I get that in the lot. Bible? Yeah, I get that a lot. Like I, two, two English names. How? Ne yeah. Because yeah. I, mean, yeah. I thought maybe Ezekiel is your name and then Joseph is another name. Okay. Um, we do have a surname. But um, I think from my own line, I chose not to use I used okay. my dad's name oh. and not my grandfather's name. Okay. Yeah. So it so was their like name. That, yeah. Okay. You are Nigerian Igbo. Yes. Yes. Hane, yes. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Are you okay? Are you nervous? A bit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be, you know. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, looking at the circumstances, we are going to afford, um, you know, your ex the same courtesy that we have afforded you. We did not mention you um, in the video. Mm. You did actually just come forward to say that, you know, I, I want to share my side of the story. Yes. And I want to just go ahead and say thank you because a lot of people would have thought I'm your enemy because <laughs> I took a story. But you are also into filmmaking, so I yeah. think you understand yeah. the... But which is why I, I, I reached out to you because um, the truth is you're doing a great work, right? You. you know, telling people's uh, story. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's, that's a great platform. So I commend you for that. And... I watched your first episode. You, mm -hmm. you were not really biased, mm -hmm. right? You were not biased. You, you, you spoke like, okay, if this person is saying, and which is what I have, mm -hmm. you understand? So, um, which, which was why I reached out to you to say, okay, let me tell my story. I chose not to say anything, but, you know, sometimes just, I just want to clear the air. Okay. I'm not who they say I am. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me be honest with you. I was scared of you after all the things I had. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, calm down. Oh, I mean, you need to, you know, just do your job, you know. But you're very nice. Like, I do have to say that, you know, you're very nice. So thank you for also making me feel a little bit more comfortable, <laughs> comfortable you know. Yeah. So I think that maybe let's just start off with, I'll just make it clear that this video it's not to counterpart anything. Mm. This is just you also having the opportunity to tell so, your story. Yeah. So I will ask you questions, obviously, here and there. And also, like, that touches to what was said in the video. Mm. Um, but I want you to just, you know, go ahead and tell your story. First of all, tell us, who is Ezekiel? Yeah. Okay. Um, once again, thanks for having me here and for giving me this chance to talk. Mm -hmm. My name, like you said, is Ezekiel Joseph. I'm a Nigerian. Um, I've been in South Africa for 12 years, I think. Yeah, 12 uh -huh. years. And I'm a filmmaker. Um, I'm a businessman. I own a, uh, a lounge uh -huh. <coughs> slash uh, restaurant. And yeah, there's no much about Ezekiel. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. And I'm a, I'm a God-fearing person. Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. Okay. So you and your ex... Your business is now on the internet, you mm. know. Um, I just want you maybe to tell us, how did you meet? Okay. Um, she told part of the story already. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we met in Carlton Center, mm -hmm. which is 
And on that day, I was with my friend. So um, I was in a relationship then, mm -hmm. right? There was someone I was dating, but um, there was something that was happening then that I I don't kind of understand. Like when my girlfriend goes <coughs> home to see her parents, when I'm calling throughout that time, she doesn't answer. So it sends a bad vibe to me. Like no, I'm the one taking this person serious. She's so um, we were talking about it with my friend that day, and he was like, ah, let's step out, go have you know a shot or something then. Clear your head, man. Mm -hmm. Don't let the girl stress you. So while we went out, I saw my ex. Okay. You know, so um, they were sitting, like, some tables like, away from where we were sitting mm -hmm. with my friend. So um, we had that eye contact. So I waved and crossed to their table. So it's like... I introduced myself to her. She was sitting with her sisters, yeah. There were three of them. Okay. She and two, her cousin and her elder sister. Mm -hmm. So introduced myself, got her number, and then I left that day, okay. right? So we didn't leave together. So we kept in touch, you know, we would chat. She would call me sometimes. So after, I think a week, then I invited her, like, no, let's go out somewhere, get to know each other and... <clears throat> So we went to News Cafe in Albertine, had some drinks. Yeah, I'm not really a talking person. Mm -hmm. So while we were there, she was, so it was mostly she, she and my friend that were talking. You okay. understand? So, um, and with what I was going through then, I just needed company. It's not really. <clears throat> so um, after we chilled at News Cafe, we went to my place that night and. Things happened Things in happened. the morning. Yeah. Okay, so that and part it happened is true. in the morning. There's yeah. a reason why it happened in the morning. Okay. There's something about me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm sure she mentioned it in her story. I'm a spiritual being. Mm -hmm. Like so, that day I I had the vibe that sleeping with this person would change my story entirely. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Mm -hmm. And my my best friend then knows me. I would, so I went to the sitting room and told him, like, the energy of this lady in the house, man, like, I don't know, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I didn't sleep with her. Okay. So in the morning when she wanted to leave, she was the same person who was like, ah, you didn't touch me all night and stuff and stuff. So we ended up just, you know, doing it. And then the condom broke. Mm -hmm. So um, before she left, I took her to the mall close to me to say, okay, have a change of clothes. Um, what we went to the mall for was to buy morning, morning after. after and stuff. So she saw a dress and said she likes it and stuff. I bought her the dress and then she left. Did did you buy the morning after the though? I think we did. Yeah. Okay. We did. When you were together. Yeah, we bought so it. So she was supposed to drink. Did she drink it? I don't know if she did. Okay. Because she we bought it, bought the dress. She got to my place, changed, and then. Yeah. So yeah. advice would be if you're a man out there and you're with a woman and this morning after make sure, yeah, make yeah, sure, <laughs> make sure you she drink it. Everyone if, yeah, the drinking must be it. in the presence of everyone. Yeah. Okay. So um then she left. After she left, um she was keeping in touch with me, you know, she would call. But I didn't see anything between us, mm -hmm. to be honest. So sometimes when she calls and wants to hold that long conversation and me I'm used, I'm a very busy person. Mm -hmm. I can't just sit and not be, if I'm not writing script, I'm, you know. So um, sometimes when she calls and I'm doing something, I'll just give to my friend, you know, they'll talk. And then after a while, I noticed she stopped calling. I guess that bored her or something. Mm. So um, after almost a month, I started having these weird dreams, you know, like child, you know. And... Um, <clears throat> I called my mom and I told her, she's like, ah, maybe you know about you and your spirits, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's someone out there who is pregnant for you. Mm. Try and look, you understand. So I thought, okay, she's the last, last person aside from my ex before her. Mm -hmm. And then we had broken up, you understand. So You had just broken up with your yeah, ex, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um... I went back to my phone, looked for her number, and then called her like, hi. 
can we meet? She's like, um, yeah, we can. So I went to meet her at Soweto. <coughs> so I was like, ah, I've been having this dream, kind of, you know, like someone is pregnant for me or something, you know. And did you use the morning after day and stuff? I feel like you're pregnant. She's like, no. So we went to a doctor, she did a test. Yeah, she's pregnant. So I'm like, the name of my child is Miracle. So mm -hmm. that's why I named him Miracle, the way he came. Like, you understand? Mm -hmm. So um, then I told her then, like, okay, now you're pregnant. I've not had a child before, and I'm not that kind of person who does this whole abortion thing. Mm -hmm. It has happened. I want to be there, but I don't want the marriage thing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because truth is, if you asked me then to describe what my dream girl was, she wasn't in the picture. You understand? Mm -hmm. But after I talked about, after I said, okay, no marriage, she got peace. She got angry. No, I'm not going to keep a child for you if there's no marriage and blah, 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 blah. Like, okay, <clears throat> let's maybe get to know each other and see, you understand? Because sometimes if you go for the look, this person might be your person, but maybe not have, maybe you like a slender woman mm -hmm. and she's big, but she has the character, you know, get to know a person first. So I'm like, okay, let's get to know each other. So then I would go to her place. I was staying in Albertine. I'll go to her place, sometimes cook, go give her food, check up on them go back so later she she suggested like i this whole coming and you understand why don't i move to your place i didn't like the idea then right so i was so there wait, one wait, day wait. at that time she was staying in soweto, in soweto yeah. and you were in albertine, in albertine okay yeah. <coughs> so um one evening she came to my place with um transports carrying things i'm like we discussed this thing i've not even said uh, we we're moving in together, but now you, you, you're moving things here. So what I did then was I took some of the things and then, <clears throat> like, some of the things that she can put in. Then she called one of her friends then that day to come take most of the things, like, you know, then some she gave to her mom and stuff. So we started staying together. Now, when we started staying together was... <clears throat> the reason why we would fight every time was... Because you know my pass password and stuff, you know, I kept open. Every now and then, you want to go to my phone. You understand? And remember, we didn't date. I had my life going on. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I, I sat her down one day. I'm like, see, for a relationship to work the way my own parents told me, is for you to be blind and deaf. Leave these things that you're looking for. You understand? And secondly... We've just started this relationship. I'm sure even if I check your own phones, which I don't want to do, there are still guys there. We were not dating. You were still, you were like, you, you get. Mm -hmm. So let's not do that at this early stage because it's going to ruin our relationship in the long run. Mm -hmm. Leave the phone. I'm not checking your phone also. She won't stop. You understand? And I was this very quiet a neighbor where I was staying. Nobody has ever had, had my uh, noise. But when she moved in, yo, every now and then we are fighting. It's either she's locking me out, my neighbor is bringing a ladder, I'm moving in through the window. It was too much now. You understand? So the shame, I decided, okay, okay, we had, we, we were still there then. Then, um, Six or seven months, I think our, our child was uh, premature. Yeah. I think six or seven months. So <clears throat> our water broke. I took her to the hospital. So when we, went, when we got to the, no, we went to the clinic. Then they said we should go to uh, the government hospital. So we went to the government hospital. Then, then they said, no, she's, uh, they're going to take her in. <clears throat> she's going to be there. So that was how she gave birth to him, premature. And they were in the... <clears throat> hospital for two Sometimes, months, I think. Yeah. So while they were there for two months, I would I I do, I would go to the hospital like three times a day: the morning, afternoon, evening visit. Now, meanwhile, at that time, 
there was some money I kept in her, her account because I always plan for the future. Mm -hmm. That when this child comes now, you know, I don't want business might be bad or something, you know. I just want to know this one is there. So, but because she can't go out of the hospital, you see, so I can't get that money because it's in her savings and she needs to be at the bank and stuff. <clears throat> so we couldn't use the money. And now going to the hospital for two months, and the hospital was quite far from going to the hospital two months every day, and I can't really walk or anything. If I wake up, I'm already thinking I'm going there. By the time I get back from there, I wouldn't do anything before it's afternoon visit again, and she wants me to come for all the visits mm -hmm. due to the child also. So sometimes I would even call friends to borrow, to, you know, to put petrol to go there. But then when she came out, you know, <clears throat> so the first day she came out from the hospital when I was going to fetch them, before I got to the hospital, I already had a dream. You understand? Mm. That this person was going to say she wants to leave with the child and stuff. And there was a way the dream came. You understand? I was like, okay. So when I got to the hospital, to say exactly how I dreamt it. She was like, no, um, this whole thing is not working. I've had the child. I want to leave now and stuff and stuff. I'm like, <clears throat> why do you think it's not working? What problem did I give to you? You understand? And moreover, I, I've seen this thing in dream before. You understand? So I won't let you do it. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's just give it some more time again and see. So we moved from there, went home. <clears throat> so what I did was, due to all the problems that had happened while we were, you know, when she came out, I took out the money. <clears throat> I went to get uh, a three-bedroom mm -hmm. in Sky City. So we moved there, and then there was a child and stuff. So um, when we moved to Sky City, um, there was too many, too much problems also, you know, which was how we got into let's now go pay the Lobola. Because <clears throat> I noticed her behavior was not normal. It just was not normal. You can't talk to this person. She wants to go out and woes in when she, comes, when she likes, and then you be like, no, you can't continue living this life. You understand? She'll tell me, no, you, yeah, you can't dictate for me. You know all of those kind of things. She, does, she doesn't want to cook. I know how to cook. So I take it upon myself. I'll cook and, you know, all of those things. And then when I complain, you get. And sometimes it's money matters. Maybe I don't have and then you want it. You get what I'm saying? Then we'll fight. Different kind of things. So she was the same person who told me that, okay, I feel like some things are not normal and I also feel like I'm also a problem to this whole thing. I really want to stay. Can we find solution, right? Then she took me to this um, <coughs> Sangoma woman in town who she said is her friend or something. She's known the person for long. So the person then tells us like um, in Zulu, um, if you've not paid the person's bright, um, lobola or something and you keep them in the house, you know. And th this was towards the time when I was now planning to buy, uh, buy us a house, right? So that was when they told me this whole thing that we're still going to fight and fight. So if you want to have that peaceful home, let me, I should go pay the lobola and stuff. So <clears throat> I went to her family, immediately paid part of the lobola. Mm -hmm. So when I paid that part, um, then things still continued, you understand, and even worse. So um, she, they still said, no, it's because I've not done the complete thing, which then I went on to um, get married to her, do the whole Lobola So you tradition. finished the Lobola? Yes, I and finished then did and the then traditional got married to her. Wedding. Okay. Before, ne? Mm. Um, because I have got a lot of questions before we forget, so that we can clarify the parts okay. that you spoke yes. about. Okay. So, um, so you guys did meet, and the first time that you actually met, and you, you know, you mm. did yeah. the D, mm. um, she fell pregnant. Yeah. You said that she was not your type mm. amongst her and her sisters, but you approached her. Mm. What was the reason why it was her specifically that you went for? Okay, the way we, we, we connected then that day was, I was actually making a joke with them. Mm -hmm. You understand? 
we were just joking from table, you know, and then I ended up joining them. So I was actually entertaining all of them that day. That you won't even, I'm sure between them, they won't know who I'm actually coming for. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I took her number. Okay. You but got. I want to know, what was it about her? Because you're saying that she was not your type. She had the eyes. She had the eyes. She has beautiful eyes. Mm, I've seen yeah. them. So it was her eyes that attracted yeah. you to her. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so you're saying that you guys went um, for the morning after, which mm. means um, it's either she drank it or she didn't. Or she so didn't. morning after basically works in two ways. Um, it's an emergency pill. Ne? Mm. And a lot of people don't understand how morning after works, works. right? Because okay. I used to be honest. Let me explain. So morning after works by delaying your ovulation. But if you take morning after, after your ovulation, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. That's why they will tell you that it's not 100% because sometimes you do not know, have you ovulated already or you have not. So if you've ovulated, clearly it cannot delay okay. the ovulation yeah. because it's already there. Okay. So there are chances that she might have taken it and she had already ovulated and so it did not work. Or she just did not take it. Mm. But I think in the interview, she did say that she did not take uh, the pill. And she okay. never spoke about the story of you guys going to actually buy the morning after. Okay. You understand? Okay. Um, but I just wanted to also clarify on that part. Mm, that, yeah. But the other part, again, that I want to find out. With a lot of stuff, like you're talking about, like, you know, how you saw that someone was pregnant. You did not know who. You were able to see that she was going to want to live with the baby mm, and everything. Mm. And you're saying that you're a spiritual person. In the interview, she's talk she talks about how when she met you, you had a Sanguma from Zim. Mm. Is that true? Okay. Before I left Nigeria, I mm -hmm. told her, she knows the story. Before I left Nigeria, um, my mom took me to church, right? Mm -hmm. Because... <clears throat> There was always this prophecy about my calling, that I have a calling and all of that. So she took me to this church, and while we were at that church, the pastor prayed and all of that and said, I was going to go on a journey, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> and my own kind of calling is kind of different. It's a spiritual calling, like mm -hmm. a pastor, but yeah. you, you need to also be connected to your roots, your kind ancestors. Of, yes. Okay. So, um, when he told me that, he said I was going to go on a journey and there was where I was going to meet uh, a person, a woman who was going to... So, um, when I met this woman, I was just going on my own with my friend and then there was a way she just greeted me, like Togoza and stuff. And then she started asking me some kind of question and then told me that she was meant to meet me. So, the thing clicked, like, okay, maybe this is the person. And... Um, she wasn't a Sangoma. She's a like a prophet. You, know, you, see, you see, like your mountain. Okay, the white prophet. cloth. Yeah. Okay. So she started. You know, I would sometimes we we were like friends. Okay. So she told me how this whole ancestral thing works and all of that, how and how it's connected to you know normal life. You mm -hmm. understand? Yeah. Like you can't. Say you are a Christian and you don't want to deal with, you don't want to have anything to do with your ancestors, your ancestors and yes. stuff. You understand? You can't throw them away. Mm. You understand? It's all connected. Yeah. You just need to find a balance. Yeah. So she was teaching me all of those things then. Right? Okay. So that was how we, and this woman now is a pastor. Like she's not even there anymore because when she met me, she told me that later I was going to help her. Mm, you understand okay. so we were like when we are together i'm teaching her the bible and she's explaining Teach, uh, the you understand? ancestral and side and then we we kind of get in balance okay 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 you understand that kind of okay so there was also a statement that was said um that said that she later told your ex that you are a dangerous man um i just want to know like what is your comment on that who who told my ex? The uh, woman. Yes. Told my ex. She, yes. She says that um, there was another time that she went and that lady is the one that told her that you're a dangerous man. Um, do you have any comments on that? The truth is, it's a reverse. She's playing reverse uh, oh. thing here. You understand? Okay. That woman actually told me then. Because when we... The thing is, I had that woman. I had friends. I lost everybody. Because what? A lot of people were warning me about her. 
before we but you know i kept investing like no she will change we will be fine we'll be you know because also my child you understand i wanted to be there for him and she was that person that if i want if i wouldn't be there or if the, we not working i know she was going to punish me with the with my child you understand so i rather was just taking the whole thing and mm -hmm. gradually becoming a vegetable and you know mm -hmm. so um the woman told me then like this person this place you are going to it's not part of your journey you understand? Mm. But one thing that I don't understand, with the kind of person you are, and you've dated other people, why specifically this one, you understand, go pregnant for you? You get? So, maybe there's, there's a, like, she's part of your journey. Mm -hmm. Check it, you know, pray about it. Maybe she's also got some gift that, you know, you need in your journey. Mm -hmm. So, like, okay, we gave it a chance, we, you know, yeah. date and... Okay. I want to also just find out, ne? Um, did you somewhat have some sort of resentment that she did fall pregnant? Because this, this was a strange... I mean, for both of you guys, your child is a blessing, but mm. the situation was the really situation, messed yeah, up. Yeah. Of the fact that you guys don't know each other and now you have to somehow get together mm. you know because mm. of now there's a child because mm. you do say that you were in a relationship mm. and it seems your feelings would get hurt when yeah. she's not answering the phone which yeah. means you had emotional attachment to her and um you're saying that the weekend that you went out where you did meet your ex that was because you were feeling down of the situation that you had with your ex. Mm. So maybe you wanted to go out and, you know, just clear your, yeah. your mind and yeah. all that. Did you somehow have some sort of resentment that she fell pregnant? No. You didn't. No. So you were happy that she was pregnant, yeah. even though you did not yes. know her. Mm -hmm. And she was not your type. I was happy about the pregnancy. Okay. And I don't judge people. That's one thing with me. Mm -hmm. no, none of us is perfect. Of course. You a understand? thousand percent. I have my flaws. She has hers. Mm -hmm. And one thing when I met her and I noticed like she wasn't a home, home girl. Mm -hmm. she, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She doesn't have any home. Like they say charity begins at home. There was no charity there. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, but... I, I didn't want to check all of those things. I felt like... And there was a time when she actually told me her story. Mm -hmm. How she ended up on the street and all of that. So I just, okay, maybe I have some work to do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now let's also get to this part because this was also brought up. The girls, the cheating, everything. Mm. You said a statement here to say that for a marriage to work, you have to be blind and deaf. Mm. I personally disagree. Okay. <laughs> Well, personally for me, I am part of, if we are a couple, your phone, <laughs> you know, yeah. it doesn't work for every relationship, mm. but I feel like every relationship yeah. has got their own terms and yeah. conditions. But please just, you know, clarify in that part. Was there a lot of cheating in you guys' union? Because that's also something that I feel affects, obviously, you know, in a relationship. It's difficult, especially for us as women, because I feel like men, you guys feel like, okay, like, I love you, so, you know, what is the big deal mm. and stuff like mm. that. Mm. So, please clarify on that. Because there was also an incident of, um, kind of where did you move to? Sky City. Sky City. Yeah. Of you now fixing phones, sir. <laughs> <laughs> please clarify that. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, from the beginning, mm -hmm. right, I told you, like, like I said, we didn't date, right? Mm -hmm. So, yes, I had someone in my life then, right? And then aside from that, she said someone came to my, um, to through the fence. That happened once. Mm -hmm. And that lady, I still remember. I met that, you see, when you go in on the street, this lady who sells <coughs> SIM cards. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry. Oh, God. Sorry. sorry. This lady who sells SIM cards and promoting all of those things. So mm -hmm. I saw her in uh, in my area where I was staying then. So she was selling the SIM card and stuff. And I went out to look for a cleaner, someone who could clean my place. Mm -hmm. So the lady 
was trying to sell me SIM card. I'm like, no, I'm not here for uh, SIM card. I'm just trying to look for cleaners. She's like, ah, she's just a hustler. She can also come clean the place later. I'm like, okay, fine. She came and she cleaned, right? Mm -hmm. So wait, at this time when she's coming to clean, mm, I wasn't with uh, my ex then. Okay, we went later. So the lady cleaned and left. So after I was with my ex, now I didn't see the lady for long time after that right mm -hmm. so after i was with my ex the lady came that day came she she you know, my gate was closed so i was upstairs we mm -hmm. stay upstairs right so she came calling mm -hmm. boss 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 right okay. so when we came out you understand and i saw her i'm like ah how are you she's like ah she came to see if she can clean for me she just needs you understand mm -hmm. and i'm like no yeah, fine. I have someone in the house now, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Then she starts fighting, saying I'm, that was all acting. That this are one of my girls. I'm like, like, the problem was even the things she saw on the phone. Remember, I'm, I'm, I, I was, we were doing music videos and all of that. Mm. Some of these are like video victims and stuff that you're talking to. Mm -hmm. not, not, which is why I said, sometimes if avoid the phone, mm. it causes problem because you see things that you now, f you, you, if sometimes you even ask for exp explanation, what is this? And they will tell you, you still want to believe your own things. That's why it's best not to see. Mm -hmm. but with me, I never checked her phone. I never did. Because what? I don't want to see things that would break my heart. Mm -hmm. And I start feeling somehow. Mm -hmm. I always had the, the suspicions that mm -hmm. this person is also cheating and all of that. But I didn't go to her phone until she pushed me one day to do it. Okay. So when you say also, it means you were cheating? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We, when we, like in the beginning, okay. right? Yeah. yeah. I was, you were I was still, still a young, yeah. Getting rid. Okay, yeah. Getting rid. This was yeah. A exactly. That How long did what you I'm get rid So when I went, <laughs> uh, get after we moved to Sky City, mm -hmm. right? Now, Sky City story. Mm -hmm. Remember, she said a friend of mine was staying with me. The guy had accommodation problem, right? Mm -hmm. He moved to me. Yeah. Now, if you check her story, she said, I had stopped. She was no longer seeing ladies until we moved to Sky City and then my friend came. Mm -hmm. Now, why is it there was no cheating story until my friend came? You understand? Mm -hmm. And then my friend might maybe go do his thing. He's coming back. He doesn't want to take condom into my house and stuff. You understand? Mm -hmm. Sometimes he won't even tell me. Maybe he'll go and hide it somewhere by my car. car. You understand? So when he's going again, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He takes his thing. Now, I don't know how she would... I don't know what she's always looking for. <laughs> if I'm not home, this person is busy turning... You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How do you even go to my bonnets <laughs> by the tire? You and, uh, by the battery? You and, are you a mechanic? I started to laugh because that story made me laugh. I asked her, girl, you were saying she bonnet. I mean... <laughs> So she came in that day with the condom, like, I'm hiding condom. I'm like, I don't even know what you are talking about. But wait, I want to know now, like, when those condoms were being put in the bonnet, mm. you knew about it. I didn't. How, because so when the she guy would have me. access to your car. Because mm. you need to unlock the car, right? To the get car is parked in the compound. Okay. It's in the compound. Sometimes you don't even lock. Oh, okay. You just so park, just, you okay, go inside. Okay, you okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So sometimes it's not even maybe... So, like, sometimes it's not in the bonnet, like, by the tire or something. You, you get, <laughs> But... Can you imagine how would I bring condom to my house and put it by the tire? I'm not that stupid. Yeah. So when I try to explain to her, like, why don't you think it's probably this guy? Mm -hmm. You understand? And I'll call my friend and tell him, like, no, guy, you, you, you're making me and this woman have problems. Mm -hmm. I don't do all of these things anymore. So yeah. if you want to do it, like, package, you understand? Okay. And then he's the same person. Okay, there's a friend of ours who fixes phone, right? Mm -hmm another friend okay he's got a shop in uh town okay. you, you get so sometimes the neighbor like he's going after maybe a girl in the street you understand mm -hmm. then maybe they get to her uh, i need to fix my phone or something something oh i've got this other friend of mine i can help you take it there and stuff you get what i'm saying okay. so when they want to come take it mm -hmm. why didn't they mention my name they're looking for a guy staying here who is fixing phone that's not me. It was your friend. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So when I come and still, like, 
She was a she was a bully. You can't explain. You can Her voice is loudest. You understand what I'm saying? So most of the time, I just like believe whatever you want to believe, man. I stopped fighting. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the story of Sky City is not even there. Trust me. When I was in Sky City, I would <laughs> I was a good person. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Most of the neighbors got along. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Maybe when I'm doing my son's birthday, you know, they come and from there they get to know me and, but there was no cheating in Sky City. Okay. No, that's fine. I just wanted to ask this question so that we can then continue. So we're going to the time that now um, <clears throat> you are getting married. Yes. So um, when we were getting married, she, uh, I remember the story of accidents. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get there. Okay. Um, yeah, when we were getting married, you see, before our marriage, eh, a lot of things had happened. Mm -hmm. She talked about my friends and how everybody, okay, she said a story then that I was like top of the league, right, before, mm -hmm. and then they got big and me, I was, no. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The thing is, my friends then would call me and tell me like, you see the reason why I don't want to say this story or why I didn't want to come out was, there are so many things that I don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. And, but at the end of the day, you might get there to talk, talk about it. So okay. what separated most of me, me and my friends, like right now, I don't even have friends anymore. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I used to have friends, you understand, who are doing well, was because, even their wives, we have friends, right? She mentioned it, mm -hmm. where hair and stuff and stuff. So, those ladies, some of them would even call me and tell me, this was what my, uh, my ex was doing. She would tell those ladies, this is how I've been controlling my own puppets. This is what I've been doing to him. This is what, 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 what. You guys need to do the same thing to these guys. You understand what I'm saying? And then they would come and tell me, like, you need to run from this person. Like, how multi wise? Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, th there are proofs. I'm sure many of them can come out. There's a friend of mine who... Okay, let me just... Why, don't, why, why does she not have any friends right now? Because she was friends with uh, all my f uh, friends' wife. First thing she did was disconnect me from all my friends. You understand? Now, those guys were getting angry at me, saying, we are showing you signs, we are telling you these things, and you are still going inside. See, since when you've been with this person, all your things, you used to be, you understand? Now, you don't, like, the way you even think, you're no longer, like, who we know, mm -hmm. what's going on. So everybody started, you know, shifting back, like, we've told you, we've told you, you get. Even on my wedding, I was going to beg most of my friends to come. Mm. You understand? Because they didn't want to have anything to do with her. I have a friend of mine who, uh, she went with his wife to, to the, to the mother-in-law. So they stay in Soweto. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to have a wedding, right? So she was supposed to go assist them or something at that house. They got there that day. Nobody told me the story until later when I heard what really happened. You understand? I just noticed she couldn't help them. She came back and she was angry and stuff and stuff and stuff. Fine. Maybe they fought there. Later was when I heard the story that she was telling the girl's mother to take the girl out to do things, you know. <sighs> so the woman got angry like, eh, where are you from? I don't want to ever see you with my daughter again. Leave. <laughs> So, all of these things have been going on with my life. I've lost friends. I've, but, you know, I just took it like it's my cross. Mm -hmm. You understand? Did you fall in love with her? At some point. Okay. At some point, I, I was like... Yeah, I, I, I fell in love with her. I did everything that I could yeah. to say, let this marriage work. Okay. So, um, two years ago, mm -hmm. something happened. And after that two years, until now that this is happening again, 
two years ago, um, I was having a meeting, uh, f um, gathering in my house. Mm -hmm. So my friends came and so um, I noticed there was this friend of mine. He does. He's not married. He's the only one who's who's not married among us. But he's got like he, you see him with this one today. You see him. You okay. understand? He's still. It's a fast, fast you boy. Understand. <laughs> <laughs> so that day we were having the party and he came with this particular um, girl. Mm -hmm. So I noticed while the party was going on, my ex was, you know, with this girl. They were going in and out, going to the bathroom together, even, you know, talking, becoming friends. They don't even know each other. I'm like, ah, what's going on? Mm -hmm. This is weird. But it's all good. Now, the party is over. Everybody's gone home. The next day, my friend calls me. What's up? Where are you? I'm like, I'm at home. Please get to us now, now, now. Urgent. So when he called me that day, my phone was on speaker, right? I think we were home. So I answered and I put it on speaker like I thought it was. So she had the guy saying, come now, now, now. We need to talk to you. I saw her mood changed and stuff. I'm like, okay. So I told her, okay, I'm going to see my friends. I'm coming. I didn't even know what I was going to meet. Mm -hmm. So when I got there, bro, your life is in danger. You are, you are not safe. We told you a long time ago. You still went on, got into this marriage. Now see what happened yesterday. What? They said that girl he came with, that my, wife, um, my ex was going around with, that... My ex was busy telling her things to do that this particular guy, he doesn't want to settle down, he's busy around, that she should just tie him, you know, so she can be the one and stuff and stuff, you know, that even this one that I'm married to, you think he's just, you know. Even when I was buying the house that we are fighting for right now, we were not married then, you understand, but I was buying a house to, you know, because I knew where my intentions were for going, your family. you know, for the family. <clears throat> mm -hmm. She fought to have her name on the paper. You understand? I'm like, why? Okay, if that's the case, let's put our son's name on it. Mm -hmm. And it's not like maybe me and you are dragging money now. You understand? We are doing something. It's always her own thing. She never saw we are doing our thing. You understand? Like even the, 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 the lounge... That lounge, there are times it won't even make anything. But she's getting salary. You understand what I'm saying? And if you try to tell her, hey, this month is, hey, I don't want to hear my salary. But I believe we are doing together. It's a family business. If it's suffering now, we should both understand it. It's not like me, I have anything in my pocket right now. You understand? So all our life, I noticed it was her. She was building her own. There was nothing like we. Okay. You understand? So now, <clears throat> going back to that story, this guy started telling me the whole thing. So I was like, no. I was shaking. Then they called the lady, put her on speaker. So she told me, like, she's the one who told my friend because she doesn't know me. That was her first time in my house. She just, like, she, her ears are full. She just acted just to hear the whole thing that I should please. You understand? So she told me that thing, like... So when I went home that same day, drama. You know, I've had what I want to hear. I went home to be normal. Mm -hmm. You understand? To just. But when I got home and trying to be normal, she attacks me now. Don't pretend. I know they called you. They told, they've told you. What did they say to you? What did I do? I'm like, ah. why do you think they called me to say anything? I only went to see her. Stop lying. They've told you I'm doing mooty on you, right? <laughs> How did we get there? Did you really say it? She even, the lady even said, uh, okay, she's got uh, a baby daddy. Because when she told her story, she said she only has one child before, right? Mm -hmm. She's got two grown-up children. Who has two? My ex. So I'm going to tell you the story. So the lady... That was where I even believed the story because she has this other child which we always try to hide because I don't want people to, you know, after two grown-up child, you still, you understand? So I always keep that thing, 
though the child comes, even December he comes, do Christmas with us, I'll buy him clothes, but that one has his own father. So the story this person told me was like, they trying, they're planning to take me out. She prefers, she wants to be with that person. Like, you understand what I'm saying? That has that child for her. And nobody knows about that child. So that was where I knew that, no, definitely they talked. You understand? Because everybody who knows us knows she has one, mm. which is the one that was living with us. <clears throat> you understand? She said so many things that I can't even remember right now. So when I went home and she started fighting about it and on and on, we actually called the lady. The lady said, you told me all of those things. You understand? Don't think I'm afraid of you. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Then she starts threatening the lady and stuff and stuff and stuff. That lady changed her number and she called me one day and said that ah, she's changing her number. They're threatening her and stuff and stuff and stuff. I'm like, it's all good. How did... <clears throat> so that lady was one of your friend's girls Girlfriend, because yeah. he's someone that obviously yeah, was fast yeah, at that time. Yeah. So she now told your friend, your friend called you and you put the phone on loudspeaker and yes. your ex could yes. hear that it was that guy. Yes. And so when you came back, she was now saying, oh, they told you, Muti. Mm, and mm. that's exactly what you exactly were Exactly what we talked about. Wow. So then I got, we thought about it. It became even almost worse than what's going on now. Just that we didn't end up on social media. Mm -hmm. Because... Now, people were actually now coming out to say, yes, you said this to us. Even, it's not like, because this lady only came out. You, you've done the same thing because I didn't say, you understand? So, the family came, we did and did and did. Now, something happened that time. I got angry and I took off my wedding ring mm -hmm. and I placed it on my wardrobe. You understand? Because at that point, I was angry. I didn't want the marriage anymore. Let's just end the whole thing and stuff. But we were still staying in the same house mm -hmm. and planning how we want to, you know. So, one day, I w uh, went, after three days, when I took off the ring, I went back to where it was. It's no longer there. Where is my ring? Where is my ring? You know, nobody knows where the ring is. And she's just keeping quiet. We looked for the ring in the house for weeks you understand she wasn't looking with but i would look ask my house help you know check and check so we didn't see at some point um she came home one day and she was just crying and at that time we we're not talking you know so she was crying and that time she went to cut her hair without even telling me she just came home that day with a cheese cup crying what is happening? She's still my child's mother. So when she's crying, even though we're not talking, I won't feel like, no, there's nobody there. So, like, what is going on? You've been crying for days, and why did you cut your hair, you know? Mm -hmm. She's like, no, um, she's sorry for everything and stuff and stuff and stuff. Let's start on a fresh, whatever. I'm like, are you sure? You want to do away with all this, your like, can I get a hug? I guess I was warned about that hug. I give that hug. After I give the hug, she brings out my ring. Like, I've kept it all this while. Why did you keep it? And she didn't want to wear it. You understand? Then she starts forcing me to wear the ring. When I took that ring back and wore it, everything that happened two years ago, what happened? Everything that we were going to break up about, I just forgot everything. That was where my friends were like, hi, this one is a goat. He's going to die there. And everybody was like, we leave you with your problem. So from that two years ago, we've been kind of peaceful. Mm -hmm. Even me cheating and all those things, I don't even have the time. Mm -hmm. I became too busy. Mm -hmm. And... Another thing was we were together 24 7. We drove together. Everywhere I'm going to meetings, you know, conference, anything, anything, we were together. So when do I have the time to cheat? You understand? Mm -hmm. But then, with her, as much as I was doing everywhere I'm going to do together, you know, she can come and say, I'm, go I'm going with the ladies. I can't go out with the ladies. So I'll be home. She'll go, do her thing, come back whenever. So on 
some occasions when I'll also be like, I want to go out to the guys. You understand? Maybe I, I've lost most friends. So sometimes I'll talk to my crew members, you know, mm. especially the guys. Like, hey, guys, let's go fishing. Let's, you know, just go do what, because I enjoy fishing. Mm -hmm. Let's go do one of those things. And she's like, I want to come too. I'm like, hey, well, you, you always have your lady's time. This is guy's time. She would want to. She would be there with us, you know. And there's something I've always told her that I don't like. Like maybe when we are in, outside in public, you're collecting smoke from people, from the other guys and stuff, you know. I don't like that. I'm a respected person. If you're doing this thing, it, you're dragging me. You understand? So these are mostly things that we would, you know, Make you quarrel like about or fight about and stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Or how do I go with my wife to a party and um, I'm saying, okay, it's nine o'clock, let's go back home to the kids. You tell me to go home. And you find me at home. When we came to a party together, what, what, where, where is that happening? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> So, you know, it was, it was just... I'm sorry to laugh. It's not funny. It's the way that your face expresses. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, some things, some things that were happening in my own life, they, they, they raise your eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> they just, they're just out of this world. I mean, no, that one is wild. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Go laugh, off. laugh, laugh, laugh. I will be. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, mm. man. <laughs> or maybe we go out to. Sometimes, some places we go out to maybe. Just go have dinner or something. Mm -hmm. Aye, some places with dinner and those places we go to, they know us. We'll fight and live there. Why would you be fighting? Maybe I go to the bathroom to pee. Mm -hmm. There's that lady who's been eyeing you. We'll turn the whole restaurant upside down. You came to the toilet to meet her. Which lady are you seeing here? Hmm. You understand all those kind? <sighs> like, it's all good. But you see... All of those are not even a problem. Mm -hmm. If you love someone, you get jealous, you fight about, you understand. Mm -hmm. But my problem is when it comes to our marriage in my own picture, in my own, it was all a game. Now I'll come to the story about the second child. Mm -hmm. Now, I jumped some parts. Mm -hmm. When I met her and she was pregnant for my son, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I go with her to her mom's place, because sometimes I'll do gro groceries and stuff, we'll take to her mom, you know, go drop. So sometimes when I go there, I'll see this young girl, you know, I'll ask, ah, is that still maybe your mom's? Because I was still getting to know the family then. She would tell me, you know, it's their uh, last, you understand? Mm -hmm. Until, I think we we were there some sometime and the sister mentioned it that her daughter and stuff. I'm like, so I didn't ask her. She's like, no, she didn't want to tell me. And moreover, she didn't know if we are getting into marriage or we just having this child, so she can't just be quick to. Ah. I'm like, okay, but you should have told me, right? Now, not knowing there's another one, she should have just used the opportunity to tell me that same one. So after like two years or so, or even more, was when I found out about, uh, about the boy. And she didn't tell me. The reason why I said for a relationship to work happy, be deaf and dumb, is when I met her, a lot of people wanted to tell me things. There was a friend of hers that I met. He's uh, a South African guy. He's even a guy. Mm -hmm. You understand? <clears throat> the guy would text me sometimes like, bro, I see you're a good person. Right? Can we meet somewhere? There are things I want to tell you. You shouldn't be... You understand what I'm saying? I'll be like... But I, did, I never wanted to go meet the guy because I'm always afraid of bad news. And what... You, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't want to go meet him. But I was still on my own when someone still came to tell me that. Do you know that she has another child? Like, the person was actually asking me, like, Bro, why this girl? You understand what I'm saying? 
Like, we've seen you with girls now. Like, not... And this person, two of you even, they, they f sometimes we go out, they would think she's my mom or something. You get what I'm saying? So, bro, and you, I mean, okay, she has a child, you're still going. So I'm like, ah, no, child is not a disease, and moreover is one. It's mm -hmm. like, which one? What about the boy? I'm like, so I went home that day and I asked her, like, what's up? <coughs> There's something I had from somewhere. You have another another child? Then she starts crying. Start telling me stories. How she got pregnant at 16 and her mom threw her out. So she's been out of the house from 16. So her mom threw her out while she's on the streets with this uh, first child and the child's father passed away while she was pregnant. She meets this other guy. Those two ch children are one year apart, 17 and 16. She meets this guy who, you know, got impregnated, but the, the child is with he, him. She, he, sometimes he comes to her mom's place. So sometimes when she tells me she's going to her mom, she wants to see the boy and, you know, drop something. I'm like, so why didn't you tell me? Like, how many more secrets? Were you not upset? I was. Because that's a big, that's a big, I that's was, a big but deal. that's how you know that. I, there's so many things I forgave. And kept, which is why I feel like she just feel like let me go destroy his name before he. You understand? And me, I'm not, I'm not out to talk. Anything. There are so many things that I still don't want to talk about. Was it embarrassing for you? Because you're saying that um, <clears throat> people, even till now, I'm sure there are people that will be shocked mm. watching this interview. That wait a minute, there's two kids yeah. instead of one. Was there an element of embarrassment? Was the embarrassment of the fact that you're with a woman that has had two kids? Of course. Or of course. That was that. Was that. It wasn't oh. like maybe the fact of you didn't even know about it. Um, Me not knowing about it is offensive. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's also mm -hmm. embarrassing because you, it's like you're playing me for a puppet now. What are we into now? Like, what are we doing? You get what I'm saying? Is mm -hmm. it game or are we getting married or where are we going? So but you are saying that um, you were staying with one child. Mm. The one child that you were staying with is which one? The younger or the older? The, the older one, the girl. The older one.